Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up your first iPad. And this is an easy way to restore all of your other iPads from this master iPad. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to swipe over. And then it is going to just ask me some questions. So I do speak English, so I'm going to just check mark my blue arrow. I do live in the United States, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the next button. And I do want my enable location services on, so I'm going to keep that on and I'm just going to go to next. And then it's going to ask you to put in your Wi-Fi network. I want to be connected to Lunenburg, so I do have Lunenburg checked on there, so it already has my password in, but if you don't have your password in, just it's going to ask you for that password. So you're going to need to put in the password to Lunenburg in here to get that check mark to show up. Once you have your Wi-Fi network in there, you can go ahead and click on Next. I do want to set it up as a new iPad, so I'm going to hit Next. And then since I just created my Apple ID in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and sign in with that Apple ID. And I know mine is iPad Setup, WCPSS at Gmail. And you're going to use your email that you set up your iTunes account with. Let's see if that's right. iPad setup WCPSS at gmail.com. That looks right. And then I'm going to put in my password for that account. And then I'm going to hit next. And it's going to think a little bit and get you signed in. And then it says something, if I want my terms and conditions, if I want to send them my email, I can send them my email. On this one, I'm just going to go down to the very bottom and agree to those terms and conditions. And it's going to ask you, yes, do you really agree to this? And yes, I do. And it just might take a little bit of time for that to research your Apple ID and pull the information and put it onto the iPad here. So that's what it's doing right now. So it's set up your account. And then it's going to ask you if you want to use um, iCloud. And I do want to use iCloud because I do want to use Find My iPad. So I'm going to use iCloud and I'm going to say Next. And then where do I want to back my iPad up to? And I just want to back my iPad up to my computer. That way I don't run out of space in iCloud. So I'm just going to hit back up to my, my computer and then I'm going to hit Next. This is where it says, do you really want to use, do you want to use Find My iPad? And yes, I do want to use Find My iPad. That way if I ever lose it, I can play a sound and kind of locate it from there. Or if it's stolen, I can kind of locate it, wipe it clean if you um, want to wipe it clean. So I do want to use Find My iPad. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And then I have Diagnostics. I'm going to say Don't Send. And I'm going to hit Next and then it's going to ask me to start using your iPad. So it's now set up and it's going to take you to a screen, to the home screen, where you're going to see these apps. And this is where you can set up a few things before you um, actually do a backup of this. So I'm just going to go into my settings here. And I always like to turn on um, some things and turn off some things. So I'm going to do my auto lock here. I always like to increase it. So to at least five minutes. So that way when I restore all the other iPads, I don't have to go in there and check five minutes on all of them. It's going to already be in there for me. And um, I'm going to go down here. I have a bunch of different things I can choose. I don't want a passcode lock. I don't want to set my restrictions. You're going to set restrictions up in um, Apple Configurator using a profile. So that will be all taken care of uh, for you. I do want, to do want to go into iCloud and make sure some of these are set up. And my account's been there. If I tap on that, it's going to give me my uh, password. And it's just going to be a little dot, so you don't have to see it. And so I know my information is in there, so I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to um, use iCloud for some of these things. I do want to use it for find my iPod, my iPad, rather. But I don't want to sync all my um, bookmarks, so I'm going to take that off there. I'm going to just delete it from my iPad. And then it turns those off. I'm a, I don't want my reminders on there. So if you have a student on one iPad, he puts a reminder in there. It's going to go to all the iPads, and you don't really want that. I'm going to take off my calendar syncing, and that's it. Is, it's the same thing. If you put it on one of your iPads, all that event, the event's going to go out onto all of your iPads. And I'm also going to 
take off contacts. So there's no really reason to have contacts in there. And then I'm gonna hit delete my delete from my iPad. So the only really thing I'm using um, iCloud for is find my iPad. And I'm gonna definitely keep that on and I don't want to um, take that off. So there's how do you set up your master iPad. And I'm just gonna go out here. And your next step is going to be to actually plug in your iPad into your computer, into iTunes, and create a backup of that. And the next video is going to show you exactly how to do that.